Welcome back to On My Bookshelf. And in this episode, I'm going to be looking at The Great Wilderness by Alex Neil, a book that I've been very, very excited about getting. As I said in the intro, I'm rather excited about looking at The Great Wilderness by Alex Neal. This is for a couple of reasons. Firstly, Alex's first book, Northwest, is one of my favourite photography books of Scotland, if not one of my favourite landscape photography books. I loved it, and I'll include a link for the episode of On My Bookshelf that featured it in the corner of the screen just now and at the end screen of this video. The other reason is I'm a big fan of Alex's photography. He produces truly inspiring photographs of my homeland Scotland to capture the essence of that uniquely wonderful Scottish landscape. He also put an incredible amount of work into both his compositions and post-processing. And if you'd like to know more about that, then do check out Alex's YouTube channel. I'll include a link for that at the end screen of this video. There's always something to learn from Alex's videos. So when Alex announced his new book, The Great Wilderness was available for pre-order, there was really no chance I wasn't going to pre-order it. This was despite a promise to myself to cut down on the number of photography books that I've been buying, but I was more than happy to give Alex my own hard-earned cash for this one. And as an extra incentive, Alex is adding something special into pre-orders, but we'll look at that in a bit. The day the book arrived, I was desperate to open it and look through it, but it arrived just as I was leaving the house to go away for the weekend. So I reluctantly left it unopened in favour of savouring the experience of looking at this book when I had time to properly appreciate it. And I'm pleased to say, and this is a little bit of a spoiler, I was not disappointed. Let's take a look at the book and see why. It's at this point in an episode of On My Bookshelf that I would tell you about the physical characteristics of the book by telling you it's a hardcover book, it measures 240 millimetres by 300 millimetres, and that has 136 pages printed on 200 GSM silk paper. But just saying that, we'll be doing this book an injustice. So excuse me if I spend a little bit more time talking about the outside of the book. The book is probably one of the finest photography books I've ever held. It just oozes quality. Firstly, let's look at the book cloth. Now, it doesn't matter how good my 8K camera films a cloth, it just doesn't do it justice. It would be fair to say it feels luxurious in the hand. Alex has also spent a lot of time not only to find the right book cloth, but also he spent six months testing its durability which is just as well, because I've got a feeling this book will be sliding on and off my bookshelf a lot. The next interesting element of the book is a debossed mountain graphic. The graphic was designed by Alex himself from a pencil drawing he made of one of his photographs. It really is a nice personal touch. And finally, just to add a bit more class to the cover, the text is foiled. Normally when I start talking about the pages within a book, I won't bother talking about the end papers. However, yet again, Alex decided to add something special. So rather than go for a solid colour, he decided to inc incorporate his map design, linking it to the theme of the book. Now we come on to the bonus item that I received as part of my pre-order, and that says beautifully designed and printed map. Now I expect the easiest thing for Alex would have been is to just outsource this. Oh no, not Alex, not for this book. The included map has been custom designed from the ground up using base data from Ordnance Survey. Alex even created his own map textures and calligraphy. It really is beautiful, and it also shows Alex's roots, camping spots, and photo locations. It's a work of art and the perfect complement to the book. It's a really nice bonus for those who supported the project by pre-ordering the book. But don't worry, if you didn't pre-order and get a map, you can still enjoy much of what is contained in the map throughout the book. I know what you're saying right now, the physical book itself might be lovely, but what are the photographs like? After all, that is the reason why you buy a book like this. So let's take a look inside. The book opens with a foreword from Joe Cornish. Now if you've ever heard Joe Cornish talk about landscape photography, you know how eloquently he does so and it's no different in this foreword. Having Joe Cornish write the foreword of your book is quite the seal of approval. There is then an introduction by Alex himself. He goes on to talk about the area known as the Great Wilderness and what makes it unique in the British Isles, particularly its remoteness. He also shares the story of the project that drove this book and the challenges he faced. It's well worth reading. Another page worth reading is how Alex went about creating the maps that are featured throughout the book. It's a fascinating insight into how Alex created these maps. Honestly, 
most people would have been satisfied with creating the photos for the book, not Alex. And that personal attention to detail shines through in this book. The book is then split up into four chapters, each covering a specific area of the great wilderness. There is text to describe the area and its highlights and a view of that area using one of Alex's own custom maps. The second best highlight of each chapter is the story that Alex shares. They provide a wonderful insight into some of the experience of creating the photographs for this book. From spending time with friends in the mountains to winter camps, the stories are a fascinating look into the joys and challenges of mountain photography and creating images for this book. And the best highlight of each chapter? Well, it's the photographs, of course. Now, there are over 90 images in this book, of which at least three quarters of them have never been published. It's a proper treat looking through this book, and looking at each image is a visual delight. On numerous occasions, I found myself making an audible gasp as I turned the page to reveal a new image. So, for that reason, I'm not going to show you too many of the photographs in this book, because there's so much joy to be had in seeing these images for the first time, and seeing them in the best format possible, and that's printed. The quality of the photographs are stunning, but not just in terms of the images themselves, but also the print quality. The photographs just seem to leap out of the page. I mean, looking through this book is a real joy. And there is structure to this book. This is far from a curated collection of Alex's best images. This is a collection of images specifically curated for a project that was always intended to be a book. And you can see this in the sequencing of the photographs where clear thought has been given to the tone, contrast, and color of each image and the image that follows. And you can also look at these photographs and know that there has been no overprocessing, sky replacements, or God forbid, anything AI. These photographs represent the views Alex saw as faithfully as possible, something which I know Alex takes very seriously. It's normally in this part of the video that I ask the question, is this a book for your bookshelf? Well, the question should be, why wouldn't you want it for your bookshelf? As Alex put it, he's been working obsessively on this book for the last four years, and that passion and dedication shines through in this magnificent book. The decision to self-publish cannot be an easy decision for a photographer, but Alex has shown what can be achieved when you own every part of your book. The book design, the maps, the words, and those magical and inspiring photographs add up to a book that, now, that I now consider one of my all-time favorite landscape photography books. Yes, I might be biased because it features the landscape of my homeland, Scotland, but the quality of this book speaks for itself. Buy it now, there's a link in the video description. Oh, and talking about buying it now, if you order before Tuesday the 19th of December 2023 and are having your book delivered in the UK, Alex will make sure it gets there before Christmas. He'll even gift wrap it for you if you drop him an email once you've ordered. Right, that's it from this episode of On My Bookshelf, but there are over 40 other episodes of On My Bookshelf, including the one featuring Alex's last book, so if you've got some extra time, why, watch an, why not watch another episode as there's sure to be a book there to inspire your photography. Thanks again for joining me. I'm going to get myself a glass of mulled wine, find a comfortable chair, and look at the photographs in this stunning book once again, and maybe dream of booking one of Alex's mountain workshops in Scotland. See you again soon.